good so boy do reviews and you hackers you what is it i don't know never seen it time to do a reaction it's gonna be 100 percent blind i haven't seen the tv show um this is a show that i've seen bits and pieces of like advertisements on funimation but never the whole thing so what is it about what is you you hackers you what does it mean is it a person only one way to find out let's start off with opening one so the openings did have this girl with blue hair flying somewhere. Look, there she is again. Okay, I've seen this character before. The the boy in the green in like just like around like iron shops, either online, but he looks familiar. I thought he was a Dragon Ball Z character for some reason he's in this show okay so whatever this show is it looks like an 80s or a 90s show maybe made in 1998 it looks old that guy looked like a character from akira the guy with black hair oh <laughs> whoa did you see that he, he had like a little laser pointer in his finger that was so cool Oh, he's already battered. Right off the bat in episode or opening one, he's already been battered by whatever has been fighting him. I like the style. I like the vibe. It has a nice vibe. I like that. I love that opening. That was sick, man. It's the same song, but it's different visuals. It's like Hunter x Hunter where it's the same song throughout, but then it's got like different visuals. That'd be pretty cool. Is that Yu Yu Hakushu? Is that his name? Yu Yu. So Yu Yu is back. Are these his friends? And there's that witch on the broom. Who is this girl? I can't really tell you what this is about. Interesting. That girl. Oh, we've got some new characters. Who's that? Who's the guy with the um, thing on his head? Is it like some sort of special ability like Sakura where she had that diamond thing on her head? That dude had an eye on his head. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of Neon Genesis vibe looking at this. What up to your green outfit, you you? Oh, it was pretty good. Is that where Hanaruta copied? Like, Yu's got an orange jumpsuit and now Hanaruta wants. Not an orange, a green jumpsuit. This is opening three. For an anime that was made in the night, the quality is pretty good. It looks like it was remastered. It's sharp. It's pretty good. More of the same, I'm guessing. Yeah, I've seen that when he blasted. It is like a gun, like when he does that, when he does that, laser bullet. That's so cool. The blue head girl on the blue stick. Okay, who are these people? Ooh, a laser in the sky. <gasps> Who's that old woman? Who's that? Some guy with a sword. Some dude with a whip. Was that a girl? Yeah, that's the guy um, with the thing on his head, the eye. These character designs are so nice. Yu Yu's falling from the sky. And who is that? What are these people? Was that a goblin little girl? Oh, are they going to the underworld? But he's got his friends to help him along the way. Right, let's go on with the endings. Let me just have a look for them. Uh, ending, 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 ending. I want to watch the Japanese ones. 
Um, there are five of them, here they are. Gotta make sure I absolutely mute it, because my last reaction got taken down, because I used the ending song. These are very realistic portraits of Yu Yu and his friend. I'm gonna call him Toby. He looks like a Toby. Yu Yu and Toby. <laughs> this is very Cowboy Bebop like. <laughs> Who's that? It's that the dude with the I am um, power. Whoa, that guy was huge. Once again, it's the girl on the broomstick, whoever she is. Aww. Who's this kid? Whose child is this? <laughs> Dude's got a big hammer thing. It's using that to... A little baby? <laughs> baby took a bit down for that there. Junior. Is that the baby's mom? I like this. This is this is peaceful. This this looks like a show I'd watch, you know. Where's it at? Funimation? Want me to react to the show? I wouldn't mind, looks pretty good. Alright, dude. We're on ending two. Bye bye. So you Hakusho looks like a boy who has certain abilities and it looks like a lot of people have certain abilities, but it's set in the modern world, so maybe it's a specific group of people. It's like Hunter x Hunter. Who's this girl? Is she holding some sort of... What was that? It looked like a photograph or something? So yeah, Yu Yu Hakusho looks like a show where some people with certain abilities fight demons from the underworld that invade planet Earth. It's like it's set in Japan, so maybe um, the fate of the universe lies in the hands of Yu Hakushu and some other people with similar abilities to him, like the witch who can fly on the broomstick, his friend with the third eye, and it looks like Black Clover copied that. It's a pretty peaceful ending. Okay, this girl is like she's part of the group there, child. Well, she's more like a teenager now. She looks a lot like um, Vivi from One Piece. Yeah, not bad. Oh, this ending is a lot serious now. Oh, who's that? Is that the villain? The guy with the green eyes. Are these villains now? Is this the villain song? So whoever these bad guys are, looks like they're gonna... But wait, is that Yu Yu? Ah, oh, I think these are his friends actually. But the way they look, they look so scary. And it's like these are other people with similar abilities to them. It looks like they're going to the underworld to meet these people. Maybe they maybe they're fed up with reality. Maybe they're bored of it. So they're like, let's go to the underworld. Let's see what that's all about. Finger laser pointer. Who's that mysterious dude in the glasses? Who's this old lady? Why is she looking at him? Did he do something bad? Maybe he's the villain and maybe she's trying to be like, I'm on your side but I don't agree with what you're doing. And maybe they're trying to stop that dude with the glasses. It is looking likely. Yes, yeah, the guy with the um, pendant thing, the stone on his head. Interesting. Okay, we're getting some sort of photograph memories of Yu Yu Hakushu and his friends. Why do I get that feeling that one girl's going to die? Like, you've got Yu Yu Hakushu and his friends who have these extraordinary powers, and then she, you've got this high school child. It's reminded me a lot of Code Geass. And look at the photos, like, they keep showing her and it's in, it, 
I know you have all these black and white photos behind, so it looks like he's rem reminiscing on the past. You know, thinking back to when he was just a normal kid in high school, before he awakened these demon powers and had to go to the underworld with his demon friends to fight the big demon boss. But then every once in a while he's like, remember the time I was in high school? Pretty good. Not bad. Okay. He's holding on this shot for a long time. To Yusuke. Is Yusuke the, get the girl? So I think Yu Hakushi was right to Yusuke. Interesting. But Yusuke, isn't that a dude's name? I don't know. This is the last opening, it's called Daydream Generation. Whoa, that was trippy. Star Wars copied that with, um, in episode 8 with Rey walking through that dream world and then had a lot of split versions of her. <laughs> Star Wars, you copycats. Disney and their unoriginal ideas copied from an anime. So you got Yu Yu Hakushu and his orange haired friend. Yu Yu Hakushu is a very interesting name. Yu Yu Hakushu! <laughs> it's like Tony Tony Chopper. There's Vivi from One Piece making a cameo. That's Yu Yu's other friend, the red haired guy. The guy with the black haired guy with the third eye on his forehead. Yu Yu Hakushu looked like they're on holiday, going to a beach, they probably. Finished defeating the demon boss in the underworld and now they're like, oh happy days. This show looks like it has a lot of dark themes, but it's like, you know, Yu Yu Hakushu, you know, he's gonna get stuff done. And that's it, you know, uh, yeah. So dude, um, overall I think this show looks okay. Um, it looks like a show I'll definitely watch, it looks, it looks sick. Um, I don't know what it's about. Um, it looks like it's about Yu Hakushi was about 15 and he was a normal high school kid and then one day, um, I don't know, he awakens these demon powers, he doesn't know what's happening, then he meets Orange Head Boy and he's like, yeah I've got these powers too, you got to come with us to the underworld to fight the demon boss if you want to get rid of these powers so you can be a normal human again. And he's like, I don't really want to be a human again. I want to be a demon because that sounds cool. So that's what I think it's about. Uh, yeah, and it's like a fun show. I definitely will check it out one day. But you guys know what to do. Subscribe to this channel for more anime and manga reviews. Like this video, share it with everyone. And yeah, thank you for watching. And as always, a boy dude of you signing out.